to another episode in the deep playthrough of Mankind Divided. We are Dena Otera Veno. We are going to some store to pick up a package for some AI in a side mission that asked us to pick it up. There it is. A mysterious contact named Hella wants me to pick up a package that got delivered to a nearby tourism center. The office code is 1591. Supposedly it's got something to do with old memories. Right, so that is just straight ahead and then to the right and before the door, the last one to the right. Man, there's so much detail. Menu cards. Right, only this lettering is a little bit too clean, too sharp, if you ask me. Could have been a little bit smudged out. And the, um, the drones can make a little bit more sound, if it was up to me. But that are really minor nitpicks. Check out all these little side areas and the, the wall art over there, over here with the lighting, just amazing. Good? What good ever happened in that hell? Man, that they, there was supposed to be a sequel and it was put on hold. Big Beard Bros, because apparently, um, yeah, the marketing campaign, look at that little streets. How real it looks apparently the marketing campaign with the whole mechanical apartment uh, apart height and stuff was not optimal and yeah it was shelved the sequel but god damn it i really cannot understand it it's amazing one of the best games i literally played in years elegance is blessed sharif industries the side missions are interesting, the world is interesting, the environmental storytelling through dialogue and laptops is amazing. Only this graffiti texture is a bit weird because in the middle it's like in mid-air. But you cannot have it all. Um, anyways, we need to get to a tourism center. I'm not sure I'm in the right place. Yes, I am. Or is it on the other side? Hey, this is the back side of Adam's apartment, I guess. Yes. Um, here is a tourism center. A goddamn clay. But this tourism center is... Fucking Canada. We can get in over here. Be careful, Adam. They are already there. Oh, the shit. Walker said this was happening. He said it knows how to change the code. It knows we're after. Don't ever listen to Walker. Guy's got too much imagination for his own good. You don't think we should be asking questions? We shouldn't even be thinking questions. Right, they really look a bit like the Smiths in the Matrix uh, movies. Right. If this thing is intelligent enough to, you know, adapt to us coming after it. You don't get it, do you? When they send us to erase something, they don't just mean files. They mean everything. Erase what anyone tells you. Erase whatever you think you know. Fuck this. We need to find Bot. He'll know how to get inside. <sighs> right, I wanted to throw a gas grenade. <laughs> but, um... Ah, there are actually way more guys over there. I wonder if they can look upstairs. Diagonally up. 
All quiet. Nothing. Copy and confirm. Right, one moment. One guy is glitching out. Alright, let's wait for the other guy to return. God damn it, the other guy is not glitched anymore. If I throw a gas grenade, they... Ah, okay. The other guy is now turning around. Here we go. That worked. Ah, uh, god damn it. The other one noticed it. Uh, man, I should have saved. I'm an idiot. to their dialogue so I could take them Be out they are already there change the code yeah the other guys it will go away don't ever listen to Walker guy's got too much imagination for his own good you don't think we should be asking questions we shouldn't even be thinking questions <laughs> Now the question is, does the other guy notice? Uh, uh, no. no, the other guy is oblivious. He's standing quiet in the other room over there. Is he now also glitching out? He looks a little bit too quiet. a slightly bit buggy but anyways again the music everything is pretty cool in these side missions they are only yeah, slightly bit glitched it was one thing to invite thousands of workers to turn part into the mirror of its time Oh. Hello, mister. Right, that worked. Um, yeah, by the way... Uh, no, I first have to... That's a shotgun. If I put this one here... And this one... Over there, and I can pick it up and immediately destroy it. So, the next time you're in Iron Star, don't forget to visit the outskirts and explore the wondrous housing project that helped make it what it is. Alright, I guess this is indeed a tourist. Shop. Pictures of Prague. Right, these guys have different weapons, so I first. Oh, yeah, I have to drop that one. And pick up this one. Disassemble it. Do the 
same over here. And a pocket secretary. Wait for it to pop up. Red retrieval, retire walker, editorial desk. Morgan Everett's Everett doesn't like contractors who ask questions. Your friend Walker is very good at what he does, but curiosity and lack of discretion are faults the people at Pikes can no longer tolerate. I don't care which of you recovers the disc or how, but once it's done, Walker's to be taken out. All right, Pikes Media really is uh, doing bad stuff. City tour pamphlets. Man, every little location has so many cool areas. It almost feels a bit Bioshock-esque. When I played Bioshock the first one for the first time, it was also incredibly cool exploration. And this game is actually cooler because I like it better to be like a semi-realistic secret agent compared to the more fantasy world of Bioshock. I don't wait. I think I can help. Sudden influx of transient workers posed some unexpected challenges. Right, I'm not sure what you did. In response to the housing crisis, the government hired the Santo to construct a massive, one of a kind complex on the outskirts of the city. Today, the Utilet complex serves as a shining example of political will and architecture. Alright, there is uh, water so, on the floor. The next time you're admiring Prague, don't forget to visit the outskirts and explore the wondrous housing. Probably, I assume, if I hit the switch, I will be electrocuted because there's also water here. Uh, um, oh shit! No, I don't want that. I want to play more lethally. That guy for sure got the life electrified out of him. This probably goes to the basement, I assume. we came in earlier and then you had that electrified area over there here even rigs so many different bottles and every uh, types man I could play this game for days But the question is how to turn off the uh, electricity. Right, this is a new one. <coughs> Palisade Bank expands beyond Prague. The Palisade Bank Corporation has some field plans to expand its holding in the Czech Republic. We will be doubling the number of technical and administrative jobs locally, said Palisade CEO Ashani Talwar, while building new data storage facilities in four cities. Ostravea, Olomuc, Slim and Klatno are expected to top the list. Headquartered in Prague, the Palisade Bank Corporation is the largest and most prestigious secure corporate archiving company in the world. Catering to mega corporations and the wealthy, it uses cutting-edge physical and digital security measures, including next-generation 
firewall, state-of-the-art encryption, proprietary biometric password encoding, and more. This will be the bank's first major expansion since the Oak incident, second since 2025, when automatic, automated defenses inside a storage facility killed an engineer. Her death drew international attention until it was proven she'd been trying to access a client's accounts. Yeah, that's probably um, a cover-up. First Life CEO unfazed by declining stocks. First Life stocks already down 6% from last quarter, continued to perform poorly as investors took note of declining neuropathine sales. CEO Bob Page assured stockholders not to worry though, since cutting edge, edge research into infectious diseases and genome-based cures should turn a profit very soon. When in a rush, Kava Piluka. Shop versus Butch. Heavy Metal Fighting Championship, Popa Cola, soft drink. Alright, check it out over here. Quite some stuff. ammo I think was pretty expensive. Do I want to keep it or not? Um, yeah, all right, I will just keep it for now. And this one I will disassemble. Cannot have not have all the weapons in the inventory. Alright, but the question is how to turn off the electricity over here. That is the big question. By the way, I totally missed, I think, that breakable wall over there when we were here earlier. I'm not even sure why I reloaded. What happened? Uh, I just went in the front uh, another way. I just backtracked. Yeah. The switch is over there. But do I need that switch? Is there anything here worth getting? I don't think so. Right, I can use the uh, dash forward. Alright, here we go. We're just gonna try it. Alright, that was a close call. Um, let's get a hyperstim. Have to use them sometime, anyways. And this really was just for the fun of it. Just like opening up this, no need to do it. But it would be nice to get that data store over there. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Goes pretty well. Access granted. All right, so we are back in here, and let's get. How the hell did we get here? Uh, I think I was just checking out, exploring that fence. Nothing much here. One, five, nine, one. All right, 
attract tourist attractions. Right, what do we need to acquire? Package. Here it is. Ah, uh, so cool. Policies and incentives directed at augmented labor throughout the world, encouraging them to come to Prague and help make it the modern marvel. It's like an old-style floppy disk. So cool. Posed some unexpected challenges. It was one thing to invite thousands of workers to turn Prague into a mirror of its time, but quite another to house them. In response to the housing crisis, the government hired the Santo Group to construct a massive, one of a kind project. All right, we already heard that, more or less. Future past Antiki. It is the only place in Prague with the requisite reader. As soon as you access the data, we will meet. Alright, check it out. Old school floppy disk. I used uh, I used to use these in the Amiga 500. An outdated piece of data storage technology that someone named Hell was def desperate for me to retrieve. Alright, where do we need to go? First outside. What the hell is this? A window. Keeping you up. A television. Wondering about the men in the tourism office? I'm wondering a lot of things. They were hired by a man named Everett. He is the CEO of Pikes Montreal. He wants to recover what is now in your possession. To recover us. Please, be careful, Adam. Alright, but anyways, where do we need to go? Hell's package turned out to be an old memory disk, and it seems I wasn't the only one looking for it. Some mercenaries were snooping around as well. If I want to know what this is about, I'll need to access the data on the disk. There's a place called Future Past Antiqui that deals in this kind of antique tech. Apparently the only one in town. Right, so that is... Which station is this? The one to the northeast. Man, this music also really fits Prague, I find, in this classical music. By the way, there's one thing I'm wondering. Can I also fast travel it through hurts. these billboards? It hurts so much. Here. Ah, uh, no. It only shows you where you are now. Which is actually pretty cool in itself. Corentus. The incident was a frame. Get out of here. 
vertical shoulders, plastic shoulders. Very cyber punchy. Also this wall with all these flyers on them. Incredible. Pretty darn incredible. Alright, we are going to the northeast, Daphne Street. That one. Just expired. Man, these posters are amazing as well. Hate to see what these hogs have done. I wonder what games this developer worked on afterwards. This is a great team that created this game. This texture on the floor, it really looks like something that could be used in a public space to cheer it up. Um, anywho, to the right, around the corner. It doesn't hurt to be alone. Roscos, Schepti. Roscos, that's like the red light district. Alright, but we're going to the right. Red light district. The Red Queen. Alright, um, but the art style and stuff is oh, amazing. Yes. Thank you. Check it out. Everything seems to be in order. Here you are and thank you. Just go. Surely, the most holy of drinks. Alright, it was to the right and again to the right, I think. Get your hands off me! You wouldn't treat a dog like that. Sounds really like a real life radio, so I'd say. Like a, a radio voice. Find a reader at Future Pass and Tiki. Nice Welcome to Future Last. How may I help you? It's nice that everybody is open this late. The only gripe I have with the game is that those number plates also on the houses outside are way too sharp and clean, too clinical. Should have been more smudged and less saturated blue. But that's maybe just me.
Right. Welcome to Future Last, where old is gold. I'm looking for something that can read an old memory disk. Wow. Last time I saw one of those, I was cleaning up Granny's apartment. Retro revival, am I right? You know, they stopped making them like 40 years ago. You don't say. So if you don't mind my asking, where'd you get it? Granny's apartment, like you said. Why do you want to know? Granny's eager to read her disc. Any chance we can speed this low? Um. Why do you want to know? Oh, no reason. Just trying to follow the tenants of Future Last customer service. You know, open-ended questions. Tenants of Future Last, huh? So about that reader. Right, right, right. Listen, it's just like I told the other guy. Data readers are real collector's items right now. Super rare. And this is the only place that carries them. So I feel it's my obligation to warn you this could get pricey. But don't worry. I'm gonna make sure you don't walk out of Future Last unhappy. Future last, huh? Tell me about your store. Did you rebrand recently? Get bought out? Not that I know of. That's a, a strange thing to ask. A future last. I'm pretty sure that's what it says outside. Are you uh, you came for a reader, right? Uh, like the other guy. Um. The name future last. That's not the name of the store. If you worked here, you would know that. Holy shit! This is a, this is a scam artist. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Let's focus on you telling me where the reader is. You said it was going to be expensive. All right. Let's go with confront. The name Future Last. It's not the name of the store. If you worked here, you'd know that. How did you? Oh, jeez. Um, if I've offended you somehow. Who are you? Sir, I'm just a guy here at Future whatever the hell it's called. And I'm real eager to solve our mutual memory disk problem. It's my job. You know, everything you need, everything you're looking for is waiting for you in the basement. I made sure of that. Um. Who do you work for? Well, that's a complicated question. The way it all works nowadays, everything's so connected. I bet if you and I push it far enough, trace the paychecks all the way to the end, we both answer to the same people. I'm tired of playing games. Well, I'm not. You know, I gotta tell you, meeting people is the best part of my job. And you obviously want to get to know me better, so before we go ahead and take care of business, why don't you take a free shot? I'm curious, who is it you think I am? Um, you're after Hella, aren't you? Just like, the, the, this is by the way, a pretty unexpected turn of events. I really was expecting like a nice cozy um, uh, old um, antique store vibe going on. And now we are uh, looking at the barrel of a gun. Super cool writing. You're after Hella, aren't you? Just like those mercs assault tourism office. Except you're smarter than they are. You knew I had to come here to find a reader to access the disc. Your, the office building where I found the disc, there was a hired hit squad sent by Pikas. They're looking for the same thing they were. Those mercs were your friends. You're one of them. Those mercs I saw inside the tourist office. You're one of them, aren't you? Part of some hired hit squad sent by Pikas. You should know that they're not really your friends, given the plans they had for you. Yeah, didn't they? Say, I don't remember, but didn't they say something about... Taking someone out? I don't remember, but it could be. You're a salesman, a terrible one. Uh, there was a hired hit squad sent by Pikas. You're looking for the same thing. Those marks were your friends. You're one of them. All right, I'm going with this one. You're in danger. Those mercs I saw inside the tourism office. You're one of them, aren't you? Part of some hired hit squad sent by Pikus. You should know that they're not really your friends, given the plans they had for you. They're just colleagues. Second grade army rejects, really. Yes sir, no sir, no imagination. Not like me. Pikus plans to kill you as soon as his job is done. Try imagining that. Ha! <laughs> 
Yeah, right. I found a pocket secretary on your colleague's body. He had orders to kill a man named Walker. Apparently Everett doesn't like his imagination. You're Walker, aren't you? Everett's your boss. Jeez. You're serious, aren't you? After all the times I... Corporate fucking rats, this is bullshit. Just because I like to ask questions, you know? Because I take initiative. Doesn't a man's word mean anything anymore? Depends on the man. Give me the reader I need. No more games. What? All right. Yeah, okay, here, all yours. See, I'm courteous to you. You're courteous to me. I don't know those backstabbing assholes anything anymore. You have my word that I'm out of this now. I'll disappear. So what do you say? Let's walk away like gentlemen. You're not going anywhere. We're far from being done here. I got what I came for. I got what I came for. Right. The disc you have, it's got something to do with what happened at Panchea. Part of some program that got all confused. Me knowing just that much is probably why they want to kill me. Doesn't take much, apparently. What do you mean, confused? It calls itself Hele now. Got all mixed up out there, broke itself into bits and pieces. My boss has been hiring the best to recover whatever traces he can before it, or she, or whatever, puts itself back together. You want to know more? You should ask her yourself. I think I just might. Well done, Adam. Inserting the disk into the requisite drive will allow us to integrate the missing data. Which will accomplish what exactly? We are not sure yet. She believes it will recover the real her. I recommend accessing the data in a secure location. Your safe house. They will not disturb us there. Man, this is a cool side mission. Incredible. Um, I found to Jen. Advice needed. John, you'll never believe this, but last night when I was at the MT in the trash behind the antique store, I found a bag of weapons thrown in one of the bins. What the hell do you think that's all about? Who the hell would want to hide guns in my bins? I didn't know what to do with them, so I moved a lot into the store's locker. What should I do with them? Do you think I should tell the police and let them deal with it? I'm worried. They might think I have something to do with this. Are you fucking kidding me? The last thing you should do is go to the cops. They are all on the Diwali payroll. Choose the wrong one to report a bag of freaking guns to, and they'll probably lock you up just for opening your fucking mouth. If I was you, I'd keep quiet and try and get rid of the stuff without shouting about it. Dump them in the kennel or something. Or better yet, there's a guy who owns a bar in the district that has a hard on for that kind of shit. He'll probably take them off your hands and give you money for them too. Oh, one last thing, it's the 28th. Is it the 28th October yet? Happy birthday, genius, if you're going to put them in your storage locker. You might want to change the code to something your mother doesn't know. Um, Eddie to Ivan. Eddie. No, from Ivan. It's those switch panels above my basement desk again. I heard that the same buzzing I told you about the last time you checked. But now it's even louder than before. It's not all the time, but every now and then you can really hear it. I even felt some of them and I'm sure they were warm. Could you double check and make sure there's no chance they're going to be set on fire or something? The shop will go up like a bonfire if something happens. If you need to come out of hours, then you can get in with three, four, five, eight. Oh, what did he say? I can't do this week, sorry. It'll be next Monday at the earliest, sir. At the earliest. Out of hours will be extra, a lot extra. So let me know what you prefer, Eddie. Uh, excerpt from the latest, latest article, top 10 tech, future past Antiki. Since future past Antiki is the only place that still carries these old things, could you proofread number four for us? We're doing a segment on top 10 tech revivals. The floppy disk. Floppy disks were being passed around as early as the 1970s and helped usher in a new era of transportable digital storage or memory disks. Also a new era of proprietary, proprietary media devices. Thanks, floppy. 
Long since superseded by superior forma, formats, the floppy nonetheless retains some legacy system use. Given the rarity of working drive readers, readers, the floppy is an ideal place to keep sensitive data you may not want anyone to trace or see. Paranoid spies need look no further, just don't expect to store too many secrets, there's only enough space for one or two. While the floppy disk revival of 2022 was mercifully short-lived, we here at Top 10 Tech still have a soft spot in our cold dead hearts for this late 20th century storage medium. After all, it's where Grandpa stores his porn. Pretty funny. Right, um, let's also check out that basement and then get back to the apartments. And also, let's see if we can talk with him further. No hard feelings, right? A job, a job. Pretty cool dude. That dialogue went amazingly well. At first we were like, okay, get to the basement. And then suddenly we were friends. We started off uh, super amicable. It's an amazing little dialogue section. Really one of the best I've had in any game. It was so unexpected that suddenly guy... At least I was not expecting uh, to be kept at gunpoint all of a sudden. Check out this art. It's pretty amazing. Man, there is so much art and assets in this game. There is just so much stuff. Every little shop has its own little additional assets. Music is fitting. It's all amazing. Anyways, uh, I almost forgot to already hit the 40 minute marker, so we'll have to end the episode and we'll continue in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you there. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on giving. See you later.